All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to push the envelope in dog training. So I showed in the past, I have many videos online, I just came out with an instructional video on how to get your dog to down flat while running to you or in motion, how important it is that a dog learns that skill. It's life-saving, potentially, right? So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how I'm always pushing the clients into bigger, more complex territory because you never know that day when you'll ever need to use these kind of things. You never know. So, here I'm gonna use Jack as an example, Black German Shepherd. He had his running to the owner downs. Jack up, down. Then here, we just want to test on a shorter distance if we ask for many downs in a row on the way to the owner, will he perform them every single time that he's told while moving towards the owner? Down. Back up. Down. Back up. And he's so good at it, even flying fast speeds across acres that this guy has, and the dog will just drop immediately. So now, because he lives in such a place with acres and farms, you never know. And if you want to push the fluency of your dog's skills, what we did here was we had the owner go hide behind a tree and completely get rid of his presence. Testing, will the dog learn and or what he's learned, can he do it without the owner in sight and while he's in motion and any time he's told? So now that I had both versions that the dog would do it coming quickly on a come command, and downing in motion from a big distance from the owner, and then having sequences of many downs in a row on point each time told, now we can wrap this together and make it a way bigger thing. So here we test, we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna have the owner go behind this big tree. The dog is gonna stay all the way across the yard and the owner's gonna call him from behind the tree and see if he can stop him, tell him to come and stop him in motion without being seen. Perfect. Every command right on point. Comes every time, down, first time told. Perfect. I mean, no mistakes, perfectly done. So if ever the dog went and did something 
and he was far away. Again, he's on acres out in farmland. You never know with that distance and all the things and houses and trees and barns, he needs to stop that dog or call that dog in and the dog really can't see him from the distance or obstacles that are in the way. We're just making sure that no matter what, if the owner is not in sight, but hears the voice, that the dog is fluent enough and will perform it, seeing the owner or not, just from voice commands, that the dog is fluent enough to do it and can absolutely potentially save the dog's life if ever needed. That is why I'm always pushing the envelope. If I can get more out of the dog, I'm going to get more. If I have time to do those things with an owner, I will do it. If the owner is up to those kind of things, I will absolutely go there with them. Because basics is great, it always gets you the platform of how to get the higher level things. But for me, once we get basics out of the way, it's all about how much can we push a dog and create such a high fluency that the dogs just are so good at their commands no matter what. So just wanted to give you a little look and something again for you to think about if you're working with your own dog or you were doing my instructional video with the downs in motions that this is one of those things that really you want to keep testing your dog into higher levels of stimulus right or distraction or environmental whatever it is so, uh, always push because it's always better for the dog the more they know the more they're pushed All right. so hope you enjoyed until next time richard hines miami dog whisperer